what is going on it's Rob aka Flight Sim today and in today's video I'm showing you how we do a manual or set up I should say a manual flight plan in the CDU. Flying object was it a uh, UAV or was it a jetpack? A large jetpack is too shiny, uh, too fast. It was something that was requested by a subscriber on a stream quite recently so we're going to run through this in this video as always though guys as mentioned please do subscribe comment and like the video you know i say it every time but it does mean a lot it keeps me super motivated to continue on this journey and bring you more and more content and overall i just enjoy engaging with you guys so with that said let's crack on with this so we're down to the cdu we've put nothing in here at all now the stream at the time was liverpool to belfast and we're going to continue with the same theme here. So, I'm going to start setting this up and then we'll get to the point where we will enter the uh, flight plan. Now, this will just be quick and dirty at this moment in time um, to get to this point. Okay, but the, one of the most important bits is we need to make sure we have our from and our to. So this example is Liverpool slash Belfast. So the from slash the to in here. So all we did there, you saw, was we typed it in. Literally typed it as you see it there, and then pressed the key and input it there, okay? Now, what that does is, when we go to uh, the F plan, or FPLN, is it tells the flight management computer we're gonna go from Liverpool to the Belfast. At the moment we're going direct. That's all we've done to it, we're going direct. So what we want to do is on the from, we're going from so Liverpool, we click on there, and then on this screen we've got airways. So click on airways. Now this is where we start entering our flight plan. Okay. So our first waypoint is Wallacey. So that's W A L. Click the two, and that's going to go off into the, the uh, database, and it's going to find all the Walsy VORs. Now, on here, it's brought back two VORs and an airport that's close. We know it's not an airport, so it's one of these two. Now, we're in the northern hemisphere, okay? So it's always going to be north, and nine, if not ten times out of ten, it's the top one. It's the closest one to you anyway. However, in this example, it's brought back the same one twice no issue so we select it and that's imported imported into the plan so far so we're going to go from Liverpool direct to Wallasey at the moment now from Wallasey we are then going to take the interception uh, intersection IP set so IP set we're going to hit under the two okay that's the import that waypoint now you'll see M146 has been inputted. That's the airway that we're taking. It automatically recognizes that now. Um, so from Wallasey, on the M146 airway, we leave the airway at Ipset. Okay, that's what it's saying. So Wallasey, we join this airway, like this motorway, or this highway, and we leave the motorway slash highway at Ipset. Then from Ipset, we're going to go to the Belfast VR. So that's Bravo Echo Lima. Input that. And again, it's going to go off looking for um, everything in that database that's Belfast. And there's quite a few. And that's why it takes that little bit longer. But here we go. So again, you'll see we've got some in the Southern Hemisphere and the Northern Hemisphere. However, once again, it's going to be the closest one to us. Hit that and you'll see now when we arrive at Ipset and we get off this airway we're going to join the Papa 6 airway to Belfast okay and that's it so once we've done that we're just going to insert it now there are some things just to bear this in mind is that this only goes so far down uh, this list once you get to the bottom of here at the moment I think there's updates coming where you can continue down eventually and keep going down this list but the limitations are it's only on one page. Um, and the way we, I'll show you the way we do it is going to continue further. But for now, we 
we've got our way, way, airways and waypoints inputted manually, we're going to go and insert, and there we go. So you see from Liverpool to Wallasey, to Ipset, to Belfast, to Belfast Airport. Again, if though you um, run out of pages and you wanted to input more, you simply click on the last waypoint and you can type in here. So from Belfast, you would type in your next point with that intersection or VOR, whatever. And when you've got next waypoint, you can just pop it in there. And you'd have to do that going down this list each time, unfortunately. But yeah, there we go. Um, from here, if you weren't aware, um, if you if you end up in your flight planner, you put your SIDS and start at that point. Um, what we do here is that we've got Wallace seat. Um, we knew in the stream at that point the runway was 09 here at Liverpool. So at this point, we're on the uh, again F plan page still. We're going to click from Liverpool like we did before once we got to Airways, but now we want to click on departure runway 09. And then we're going to find um, from 09 the uh, the SID that goes to Wallasey. Because we know we're on that Wallasey waypoint. And there it is, the Wallasey 2 Victor. So all we've done is gone up and down this list with these arrows. And Wallasey 2 Victor, select it. It now shows under the SID um, header. It's asking us, do you want to insert this? Well, yes, I do. So insert that. And that's it. So now it recognises that, look, we've inputted, we've told it, we're going from Liverpool to Belfast, which was on this bit. We've inputted all our flight plan from Wallasey to Belfast and into the airport. And then we've said it to it, OK, we want to go Liverpool 0 9 on the Wallasey to Victor. So now it's going to put all these waypoints for the Wallasey to Victor departure into um, the... CDU. Uh, the Wallasey 2 Victor departure is a climb out to 4000 max and that's why you see here it recognizes this that the 1DME off of 09 is up to 500 feet first of all um, and then it's a left turn um, going out to Wallasey climbing to 4000. It inputs all this for you and that's it you're done. You can continue with your CDU as you've normally done. You've now manage to manually input your flight plan which makes it much more fun than just loading up a flight plan from Simbri from where from the the sim itself into the CDU you can manually input it but if this has helped you you know like okay say please leave a like comment interact and don't forget to subscribe but most importantly of all in these weird crazy times stay safe take care